Prime Minister Narendra Modi exhorts you to actively contribute in nation building, addresses students at convocation of Srimatha Vaishno Devi University in Jammu, dedicates 230 bed super speciality hospital and sports complex. In Afghanistan, suicide bomber kills 24 army recruits on a bus in the Sok Rood district of Nangarhar province, bordering Pakistan. Over 100 others also severely injured in the attack. Taliban claims responsibility for the attack. Efforts to improve border management take a big step as India and China reach closer to a breakthrough in establishing hotline between the two military headquarters. Defence Minister Manohar Parikar hopes that the matter will be concluded in one to two months. Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley says government determined to bring about structural changes and implement key reforms to boost economic growth. Addressing Asia society at Washington says rural development and increased expenditure in infrastructure focus area. The mortal remains of Kirpal Singh, the Indian prisoner who died under mysterious circumstances in Lahore's court Lakhpat jail, brought to Wagga border will be handed over to the family. Campaigning for the third phase of assembly elections will end today in West Bengal. 62 constituencies spread over Uttar, Kilkata, Murshidabad, Nadia and Burdwan districts will go to polls in this phase on Thursday. Minister of Women and Child Development, Menaka Gandhi launched the Beti Bachao Beti Padhao scheme in additional 61 districts. The scheme is designed to address the issue of declining child sex ratio and related issues of disempowerment of women. Frequent jams on the Manali Leh Highway have forced the district administration to introduce the odd and even system to commute from Manali to Lahore Spiti. Hot weather conditions continue to prevail across the country with mercury hovering above 40 degrees Celsius temperature in most places, including the national capital. Six people were killed and at least 34 others were injured in two separate fire incidents which broke out after cooking gas cylinders exploded in Delhi on Monday night. Several fire tenders were rushed to the spot. Brazil's President Dilma Rousseff said that she was being unjustly impeached because she has not committed any impeachable crime and has vowed to fight until the end to stay in office. More than 500 migrants go missing at Mediterranean Sea. They were believed to have drowned after four boats capsized. According to local media reports, migrants started from Egypt and were heading for Italy. At least 413 people are now known to have died in the earthquake that struck. Ecuador. The 7.8 magnitude quake struck Ecuador's Pacific coast on Saturday and the search for survivors continues. Novak Djokovic pipped the likes of Usain Bolt and Lionel Messi to win the Sportsman of the Year trophy for a third time, while Serena Williams clinched the top honour in the women's category at the Laureus World Awards in Berlin. Mahavir Janti, the birth anniversary of Lord Mahavir, is being celebrated today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi extended his greeting, saying that the ideals of Lord Mahavir reaffirm our commitment towards harmonious and peaceful society.